what's up guys welcome back to another episode of satisfactory update 6 this will be episode 13 as you guys can see behind me there i did a bit of customization off camera from the last episode uh, i probably would do a bit more of that during this episode too but this episode we are going to aim on getting the explorer for the explorer we need to have uh, a couple of stuff done in the quartz research so right now i just left this run for a bit we should have enough to do the research to yeah definitely have enough to unlock the um other stage of the quartz production which would then give us the ability to unlock the explorer week so i just have to run and get some i think it's reinforced iron plates which is right off the cliff there uh, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to drop a like and a subscribe. An alternative recipe for quartz. Quartz and water. beam to make 50 something screws that's a good recipe there um let's go with this one yes it's um for quartz we need Yeah, 50 reinforced iron plates. Let me just run and get that. And as usual, this guy is in here. God damn it. Alright, let's run back up to the mom. And trees. Uh, wow. Auto save lag there. Why am I lagging so much? That's the court speaker, let's run it to be back.
Alright. Let's head to the mom here, which is by the um explosive factory. Alright guys, for you guys in the on YouTube. Um leave it down in the comments below the colours for the factories. So if you can uh preferably a uh, hex code for the colors so we have let me see we have the let's just put the series so quickly we have the iron factory and steel factory in one which is down here that's the iron and the steel factory that's one color um we also have the explosive factory that's number two would be number one is iron number two is oh no wait number one is, yeah number one is iron and steel number two would be explosives number three would be the smart plating which is right where i'm pointing right now uh number four would be the uh, automatic wiring which is by the copper building automatic wiring and copper that's number four and uh, number five would be the modular frames which is up by the power plant also number six number six would be the power plant so i'd give the power plant a color too so and down below in the comments guys comment on the hex code you'd like to see the color of the base for next episode if you guys can do that for next episode preferably on monday or before tuesday at least because that's when i record yeah so if you guys have any suggestions drop that down below um Yes, let's see what this thing has to be made in. Uh, ba 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 ba. Uh, I think it's made in the assembler, prefer most likely because the assembler does two at a time, two things. Is it done in the assembler? Apparently not. It was not done in the assembler. So then it's done in the... Unless it only takes one thing to make it. That's the ex um, sulfur truck for the explosive factory. Is it done in the... Mm -hmm. I feel it's done in the um, assembler and I did not scroll down. I feel it's on the assembler. Let's confirm that and then we continue with the building of the port factory. Let's confirm that quick. Nope. Double check is not building the assembler. So where is the. Where is that built? Let me check the mount quick here. Um, so if it's not in the assembler, nor in the constructor, that's some friggin' blank and I did not see it in the constructor. Then where would it be? It's to my knowledge, it should be in the constructor. Let me check the... 
It's not in there. Let's see. Oh, I see what's going on there, guys. Wow, did not realize that this needs three stuff instead of two. So that's the issue. So the constructor can ch change one thing into another. The assembler does two into another stuff. And I think there's another one that does three. So let me run back to the hub quick here. And see if we can get that research at least done for this episode. So that we can proceed with the quartz production and on our goal to get the explorer buggy. So that we have our own personal vehicle. Uh, I think that's the... um. Most likely that's the uh, steel pipes truck that just went there. Also, we would be color coding the trucks. So as of right now, only one truck is color coded. Um, so I'd also Put a list in the description if I can remember on the amount of trucks we have and what they specifically carry uh, if I can remember Orphan right now there's the steel pipe truck which I just passed which carry obviously steel pipes there's the modular frame truck which comes from up by the factory and there's the um Volatile frameworks which passes right here. The vol volatile framework truck which goes to the space elevator. Then there's the we already have the coach truck colored already. And there's the coal truck that supplies coal to the old steel factory and everything. And there's the sulfur truck which sends sulfur to the explosive factory. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see, what did I not have? I think we need to unlock the uh, manufacturing. But that needs us to do plastics, which means we need to have oil production. Oh wait, I just saw it. Yes, I had a mind that was an engine. And this is... An adaptive control unit. Okay. So the second thing for the space elevator is actually an engine. So I was right on that. Hopefully we need smart plate in to make that because there's no other use to it. Oh, we got the trucks in this one. Right, so this is a milestone. I, as of right now, I don't think we're gonna get the. Oh wait, we have to get all the production shit. I don't think we're gonna get the. Court, production done. This episode. As now I'm looking at it, we need the uh. What you call it? We need the. The other version, the assembler that does four. I have to let me go back and see the name because I completely forgot it. We need this shirt, the manufacturer, which does four things into one. So we need the manufacturer, which means we need uh, oil production done. So this uh, episode apparently is going to be a uh, somewhat of a filler episode until the main goal of getting the getting the coppons the quartz done so that we can get the explorer apparently that's what it's gonna be so first we need two things to be automated one can be automated right here I have to figure out what it's made of with 
Uh, so we probably have to go back down to the steel factory and figure out what we where we're gonna put the in case steel beams. I was gonna save the NK steel beams for later, but we need that to get the oil research. We already have the so we have the um steel pipes automated already. You guys probably know that. We have the couple of sheets automated that's right in this container here. So we need to automate the production of motors and the production of the NK steel beams. I know the NK steel beam uses um, concrete and steel beams that will be in the assembler. We have steel beams down by the steel factory. So you could just extend that in some way to make the NK steel beams. We may have to add in another production for steel. So now thinking about it right now the steel beams that we have down there is actually being used to create the um volatile frameworks so we need to um probably add another production for steel ah uh, yeah that's probably what we'd have to do Okay, before we probably try to focus on the motors as of right now, I do have these touches which is used for the motors stacked up here. I knew they were used for that from previous experience. Uh, let's see what they uh, need. So it needs rotors and statues. That's going to present a sort of a difficulty there. Because we have the statues here. And we have the rotors down by the um Hmm, we have the rotors down by the steel production. We could run another truck line, but that's gonna be a bit too much truck lines just for the small area. We already have six trucks running up and now. Already. Um, but for somehow we have to either get rotors up here or get these statues down there. We do have some rotors being produced across here, which is helping make this smart plating. We could possibly take rotors from there. That's most likely what we'd have to do. Take the rotors from there. Um, I do have the statues going up to the third floor already so i can pull a line off of here and send it up to the fourth floor if we decide to make a fourth floor which would be making the motors and then we'd have to bring the rotors from in the that factory there, the smart pitting factory has rotors being created there. So we could bring rotors from there. I think that's the idea. We're going to pull rotors from there into this factory. Uh, we're going to make a fourth floor to this factory. It's already, I'm on the third floor right now. Make a fourth floor or you guys, some people would say this is the second floor and the first floor is actually the ground floor, but whatever. So yeah, let's do that. Um, it's a bit somewhat early for a bell montage, but yeah, we're gonna focus on for at least this episode. I'm gonna try focusing on getting those two things done. Oh my god, I forgot that I had to optimize this in a, some sort of a... Did I not... I may have to upgrade this one to a Mark II. Uh, yes, I had to speak very loud there because those things are freaking loud. 
because I, let me see yeah that's the issue here we don't have enough um concrete um not concrete iron coming in for that uh which is stopping the production of the rotors so yeah that's a limitation there we will have to optimize that uh this is the reinforcement plates this is the rotors which is going across there to make the smart plating so we'll probably put a splitter right there and take it off and head off to the end and go up to the top floor yeah, i think that's what we're gonna do uh first before we do that let's go and get the stuff we need for the to upgrade that into mark 2 which should be we need some concrete to create some in case iron beams so let's create some in case iron beams quick here like about 10 i think if i remember right from doing the last one i should have beams on me i have is it one to one for the the um beams in case iron beams hopefully it's one to one because i only have 10 um oh you know what i can do i can um downgrade one of the um the smart wiring not smart wiring automatic wiring belt i can downgrade that back to uh mark one belt because as of right now we have no use for it so i can downgrade at least one section to get the steel beams we need because right now it's using steel beams let's do that All right, so I think we got this sea beams there. Should have. All right, let's run and make this quick here in the crafting bench.
And so those guys are making the motors. There's our first motor heading towards the storage container. Do you have to get how much of those 50? Alright, that's that should be done. So by the time I am going to run across the in the steel factory and see what we can do across there. Catch it. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna open. We're gonna run across to the... Now we're gonna get the concrete from there. We could put a factory there, but then that will interfere with the war. I just got run over by the modular frame struck if you guys are wondering what just happened there Please I almost got run over by that truck too It's a busy highway watch where you're walking Better not try. Uh, my God. This episode is officially episode where I get run over too much. Why? <laughs> so that's the bad thing about having so much trucks in your factory. in reference to having a lot of not trucks so other than so if you're not having a lot of trucks the opposite of that will be having uh too much conveyor belts where you have to jump every freaking five seconds so yeah that's the opposite there having too much trucks in your factory would cause you to I have to be watching your back because I almost got run over like about five times just walk into this factory down here. Alright, so for the... Beams and case beams. So we need the beams, which we have beams being produced on this line here. So we can use that. Wait, wait. I don't think we need a third floor. Because we have enough space yet at least but one production set for the beams. I may have overdone it with space down here. And we can also... Uh, road is lying a bit better. Yeah, let's do that. Let's roll this modular frame uh, conveyor belt a bit better. Because I wasn't routing it for space when I first put it down, so... Kinds of crazy route in there. So let's route it to take up the least amount of space possible. Okay.
Alright, so now we have this whole area here to con... Okay then. We have this whole area here to make the reinforce stuff. Uh, yeah, let's work on that. Back to another build montage. Yes, I did come out of a build montage. I didn't see it, but yeah. Back to another build montage. so that would be it for the episode hope you guys enjoyed um unfortunately this episode we found out i could have probably done some research before but i try not to do too much of research into what i'm building the other episode so that it's like the first build moment unless i've already done that in a previous uh run through of satisfactory as you guys know i did have a satisfactory series during update 4 during update 3 and update 4 so yeah <laughs> alright so hope you guys enjoyed the episode of satisfactory as usual if you guys want to see the unedited behind the scenes cut of the episode feel free to support the channel on patreon uh if you guys are new to the channel feel free to drop the like hit that subscribe and click on the bell why is this not the mark tree my god i really great great Never mind. Alright, as I was saying, if you're new to the channel, feel free to drop a like and subscribe, click on the bell icon. You get notified when I release videos. Satisfactory videos are released every Saturdays, edited on Wednesdays, recorded on Tuesdays. Uh, also on Tuesdays, patrons get access to the unedited 
full version of the video on Tuesdays. Hope you guys enjoying the series so far. This is episode 13. Uh, my last set of satisfactory series ran up to episode 20. Hopefully, these uh, episodes, well, most likely this series will run further than the others. Um, yeah, this series only ran up to episode 20 due to back then I was on a very older system, so it became a bit of an issue of lag and performance at a certain level of the building because when you get a certain amount of stuff in the area you tend to get lag anyway as i said earlier on uh as you can see the quartz building is colored uh leave a comment down below this is up to you guys either this episode or next episode or not this episode either next episode or the episode after I'll at least give you guys at least three episodes to come up with colors. Um, leave a, if you guys want to color the base, we have um, five bases to color and a couple trucks, six trucks, I think. Well, say five because we already colored the court truck. So, can if you guys possible leave a hex code down in the comments below and what it's going to be, what color it's going to be for. So like this building here, anything to do with court right now is this color. Um, we have the explosive factory. We have the steel and iron factory. We have the modular frames factory. We have the smart plating factory. We have the tall copper tower because it's the tallest building. So I changed it from a factory to a tower. We have the copper tower which you can see there. I am going to put up walls in probably a stream during the week. Um, so we have the copper tower. I think that's it for all the buildings. We have a couple mines which are going to be the color of the trucks. So we have the... Um, I think that's the we have the truck that's the um steel pipes which is that one going there that's one we have the modular frame truck just coming from by the power plant we have the uh power plant we have the coal truck which is supplying the steel and steel factory and iron factory with coal and all the truck stations down here with coal for the trucks we have the sulfur truck which is supplying sulfur to the explosive factory and I think that's about it. Oh, another building that we're probably going to have to color is the coal power plant building which is our body modular frame stuff. So let me know down in the comments below guys what uh, colors preferably leave a hex code down below in the comments on the colors. Uh, you guys can always rewind the video to hear what buildings we have in case you guys missed it. Uh, anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Unfortunately, we did not get the explorer this episode. Here comes the quartz truck. See you guys in the next one. I'm out.